Hey, how you doing, bro? Can I get your name? What's up? My name is Brahim. Brahim? Yeah. I understand you from the city. Born and raised all my life. Oh, man. What I can you... Nigga, to the day I die. <laughs> You know what I mean, I'm from the real Atlantic City. I don't, this shit is some made up shit, but I'm from the real Atlantic City. I'm from Virginia Avenue Courts. Mm -hmm. You feel mm. me? Where I ain't grew up around nothing but drug dealing and killing. Mm. That's all I know. I'm from the era of Midget Moly. Mm -hmm. I'm from the era of, of where niggas sell dope all day, 24 7. Okay. I seen killings, I seen murderers, but the one thing I did wrong in my life. Right. The one regret I did wrong in my life. What's that? I put some of that heroin in my nose. Mm. And that shit took me to places that I ain't never been before in my life. So I try to tell the youth, man, stay away from this shit. That y'all, this that shit, y'all ain't ready for that. Mm -hmm. That's something, that's something y'all don't wanna that's some something y'all don't wanna do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Y'all got your whole life ahead of y'all. Y'all young. Can I get your age? I'm 50, I'm 50, big guy. You 50? Yeah. And how long have you been uh, using drugs? I, I started sniffing heroin when I was about 22 years old. That about young? 22, yeah. 28 years? Yeah, I was getting a lot of money. I'm a, I was getting a lot of money. I was getting a lot of dope. Were you selling drugs at first? or? I was selling drugs at first. Yeah, I, I, I made a mistake. I was, back then, they was getting high off that shit. It wasn't no thing. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And boom, I had a lot of that shit and I made the mistake of put that shit in my nose, bro. And shit ain't been right since. You feel me? I'm, 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 trying, I'm just trying to get back right. I'm still a little fucked up. I'm in the shelter, but I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I ain't living in no street. You have any gang affiliation? At all, ever? Nah, I, you know, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I had fights against them niggas in jail. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Shit like that. But like all the youth out here, like I know all these little motherfuckers. Right. I know they dad. I know they moms. You feel me? I grew up with them. Like I seen these little niggas when they was babies. I know they fathers. I know right. they moms. Like, and I, I like, you know what I mean? One thing about the youth, you only can tell the youth what it is. Uh -huh. You feel me? The, one thing about the youth, they gonna make their own decisions. Cause they young. Yeah, they I are. I remember when I was young. You know what I mean? All the motherfuckers do is tell me something. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. So the only, only thing you can do is explain to the youth my, my struggles, what I went through, the shit y'all did. You feel like the youth are being led astray? Yeah, I really do, because they ain't got shit. Who, who's up. their leaders and, and followers? Like, are, they don't have any dads to look up to or anything nah, like that out here, right? They, they don't have no dads to look at that. They don't have nothing to inspire them. They don't have nothing to look up to. Only thing they know, that's why they they run to them gangs. Them gangs show them love. So what's your views on the uh, guys that's misleading the youth? You know? Like, Dudes out here that's they in the leading way, them the wrong way. Gun, Get putting guns in their hands putting, and drugs. Yeah, that's in the way. I mean, y'all putting guns in the youth hands. When y'all put guns in the youth hands, they not going to do nothing with black on black crime. They going to kill each other. That shit in the way, y'all. What, what, what y'all doing that for? Y'all should be trying to do something else. These, these guys, y'all leading them astray. Y'all leading them the wrong way. Have you ever been a victim of any crime out here of a sort or yeah, been attacked? Is yeah. it like that out here? I, I've been shot before, yeah. I got shot before. You know what I mean? What, what was this dispute over? The street. Streets. Yeah, the street. You can say I couldn't make no money here. And I told them, nigga, I could make money where the fuck I want to make it. And shit got ugly. So you was just trying to sell drugs on somebody's block and they, he wasn't having it. Uh, yeah, I don't know about if it was his block, but he was... Like, he was running shit, and I didn't know who, nigga, who, I didn't know who he was. Is that the way things are ran around here? Like, people, they, they, the drug dealers, they, you know, they feel like they own the blocks or something? You no, know, it, it's all about... Territorial? Who, yeah, it's about where you from. You know what I mean? Back Merlin might be over here. The village might be over there. You know what I mean? Culver Hall might be right here. Adamsville might, might be right there. And they area, they, they, if they feel as though this they area, they gonna hold it down. Right. That's how motherfuckers get get hurt. Shit, right. keep going. You can uh, just be hurt just off of being with somebody from yeah. that area and they same how you can like just be with a motherfucker and they can put a Rico case on you. Like they just locked the look. Wow, a federal them. charge. Yeah. They just they just ran a sweep about six months ago. 
friends came through here and locked all them little motherfuckers up. The young guys for selling drugs, huh? Yeah, selling gun, drugs, guns, everything. Murder. Murder. Now they gonna have a now they gonna see what it is. Cause they want they gotta sit down for a while. It's hard when you gotta sit down and do 10 to 15, 20 years. And when you get to about 10 years, you gonna start feeling that shit. You gonna get more mature. You gonna start feeling this shit like, damn, I done been here in a whole decade. I still got 10 more. I promise you, you gonna grow the fuck up then. Now how long of a stretch did you do? I did seven years. You did seven years? Yeah. What was the crime? I got caught with a weapon. Just for getting caught with a, a weapon, you did seven years behind it? Yeah, I did it. I got caught with a gun. But I'm saying, wow. I had a, a, a 10 do 4, but you know, I was young. I was getting in fights and shit in jail. And I was getting, I went on parole, got a couple hits. Right. So they wound up maxing me out on a 10 with a 4. I did seven years. I bet you wish you would have got your gun license. You better believe it. <laughs> Before you got that weapon. You better you know? believe it. Because you, you can get a weapon in New Jersey, guys. Um... You can get a weapon legally, and you can you can own it. Yeah. Keep it for safety. I ain't know that. Yeah. Damn, man, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. Uh, I'm 50 years old, man. I'm just. My, I'm just trying to live a peaceful life. 50. You're yeah. young for 50, man. Thank you. Look really young. Okay. Are you homeless out here? I'm in the shelter. Yo, oh, yeah, you're, you you say you're in the shelter. shelter. You know what I mean, it, yeah. it ain't, it what what is like in the shelter? You know. Is it a cozy stay or? Nah, nah, not really. It's a bunch of people that's homeless. You know what I mean? They, they, they giving us a place to stay. You know what I mean? We it's get up. Stay. You gotta go programs and some shit like that. If you don't go programs, they kick you out. You just to uh, lay up in there. But you know, you're around certain people like that's dirty. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers gonna take showers and shit mm -hmm. and shit like that. I just you know do what I gotta do. I'm trying to get out of there. Where do you see yourself in six months? Man, I see myself ch trying to um, achieve this goal I'm after. I'm after this goal. I'm trying to graduate this class, right. become a, a drug counselor, mm -hmm. go around to the youth speaking about drugs. It's beautiful. Going to uh, schools, after school programs, talking about drugs, talking about the streets, talking about staying off the streets, talking about killing, stop killing people. Right. Trying to reach your goal, get off these streets. Put your mind to something. You ain't gotta just pick up no gun all the time or sell no drugs. There's a million ways to get money. How do you get money though for your habit? <sighs> to, uh, to be honest. Can't handle no boost, something you like know, that. You know, I used I used to motherfucking sell Lucy's, whatever mm. I could to make five dollars. Lucy's are uh, single, cigarettes. single cigarettes, single right? Cigarettes. Yeah. yeah. What you sell them for? A dollar a cigarette. A dollar a cigarette. Yeah. Right. Hey, well, if I smoke, if I smoke tobacco, man, I support your business, bro. I don't smoke tobacco. Though. Yeah, and, uh, you know whatever I could do, though. like me, like lately, like for the past day and a half, it been kind of rough. I ain't really eat nothing. It's yeah. been kind of slow. I couldn't get my hands on. Nothing. How often do you eat? You know, I try to eat a, a meal every day, like dinner. Just one meal. Every day. Yeah, Just one meal, right? I, yeah, try to eat something, uh, but you know, so you get better later. Know what I mean? Last question: Do you ever see change for Atlantic City? I can see change coming to Atlantic City because we got a good mayor now, Marty Smalls. He come from where we come from. Mm -hmm. You feel me? He come from the hood. He come mm -hmm. from play basketball. He trying to help the youth like the best way he can, better than any other mayor that I've been seeing around here. And he, he been doing things for for the community. So I see Atlantic City coming up. Mm -hmm. Soon for the Shout youth. out Marty Small. Shout out Marty. Hopefully, you can make a change, man. Change all of this. Word. It's crazy out here on these streets. Crazy out here. City. You need to get better. I'd like to thank you for your time, man. Thank Been a great you. interviewee for me. My name's ATM Fox. All Time Media be praying for you, bro. Thank you. Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below.